Good morning, everybody. I'm just doing a pop-up video today. Y'all didn't know I was coming on. I'm going to make some biscuits and gravy, and I thought maybe y'all like to join in the fun and watch. So I'm going to let a few more people hop on here, and I'm going to start cooking some biscuits here. Put them in the oven, and I'm going to do some gravy, and that's it. And I'll have my breakfast, so. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope everybody having a glorious Sunday morning. I can't believe this picking people's up on a Sunday morning this early. I thought I was the only one to get up this early. So I'm going to wait like two minutes and I'm going to start cooking here because I'm hungry and this is my breakfast today. I'm going to make some dishes and gravy. And I'm going to do some scrambled eggs, and that's it. I ain't gonna, I'm going to do, like, bacon in my gravy. I'm not going to do sausage gravy. I'll do a little bit differently, but it's going to be good, so. Hi, good morning, y'all. Let me see if everybody can see what I'm doing here. I got the, uh, put the iPad over there. Sweet potato biscuits. I've never made sweet potato biscuits before. I haven't made that before. Okay, I'm gonna get started here. Like I said, I'm making uh I got all purpose sour in here. I'm gonna make some biscuits right quick. And then after I get them in the oven, I'm gonna make some gravy right quick. This is so easy what I do, what I'm doing here. All I got in here is all-purpose cotton. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in there. I'm not going to measure this because I do this all the time. It's really not a big deal. I'm going to try to ask y'all quick for this bacon powder. A little bacon powder in there. And I'm going to leave this video up uh, after it's over with. I have bacon soda. I put, put both in here today. Sometimes I do either or. All I got in here, y'all, is bacon soda, bacon powder, salt and pepper. Put a little sugar in there. Put a little sugar in there. You don't have to do that, but put a little sugar in the Get butter. Sometimes I use uh, Crisco shortening. It, anything works. I don't have a lot of. I don't have any Crisco shortening right now. I couldn't believe it. So I'm gonna put butter in here. It works too. Butter works. Come 
winning. I really can't beat the Grammys right now. I'll do that. I'll tear out. Get the pictures in the other one. Once I'm cooking the gravy, I can actually look at the screen. A little bit more. And the key is, like I say, when you're making biscuits, not the over, over the next one. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. If you over mix them, you're going to have a tough biscuit. Okay. That's done. Move this out the way. Sausage gravy, but today I ain't got no sausage. I'm gonna put some bacon in there. 
pull a bar in here, get it going. Put a little bacon in there. I'm gonna get this bacon caramelized, crispy, you know? Then I'm gonna add the onions to that. Okay, now I'm facing y'all where I can kind of answer questions with y'all online here. Let's see. I got 400 people watching me make breakfast. This is really crazy. Okay, we should make money and stuff. Y'all can ask me questions now if you want to. I can actually see the screen. I couldn't see it while I was on while I was making the biscuit, but the biscuit's in the oven now, so I can ask asking your questions. You got any questions? And I'm gonna do scrambled eggs too, but I'm, when I'm in, I'm gonna go and get my eggs. When I scramble them, I'm gonna do three eggs for me today. All I do to my eggs, I crack them, I season them with a little salt and pepper, and I put a little milk in them. With just a little milk in my eggs. My friends, they love my scrambled eggs. And I'm gonna whip them up. That's it. And I'm gonna set these. I'm gonna let these set. And last minute, after the salt is gravy and the dish is ready, then I'll scramble the eggs. I just take what one minute, not even a minute. I'm gonna set these over to the side. Okay. What I'm gonna do with this bacon? I wanna crispy it up. Then I'm gonna add onions to this. Then I'm gonna hit it with the half and half. All this stuff while the fish is cooking. Yes, oh, I'm making your favorite breakfast at the time. Thank you, uh, Diane. Oh, Diane Ochoa, okay. Cookbook coming soon. I'm just fighting with publishers. They got to redo it. I keep sending it back. If it's not perfect, I'm not going to accept it. So that's the issue on the cookbook. I'll, I'll, do, I'll discuss that later. In detail. Yeah, uh, the biscuits recipe is online. I've did it many times before. Just look up old school biscuits. What I just did is online. Yeah.
cook that down a little. Now add the half and half. You can use milk if you like. If you don't have half and half, it's not a big deal. What I want to do, I want to get all that good stuff off the bottom. Hey Karen, we making homemade biscuits. I already put the biscuits in the oven. I'm doing gravy here now for the biscuits. Instead of sausage gravy, I'm making regular bacon gravy. So this will work too. Sometimes you gotta use whatever you got in a pinch, you know. Another key to making gravy, you don't want to add too much milk at one time because you'll get it too thin, then you have to try to thicken it back up. So it's best to do it thick and then add milk to thin it out. That's the key. Australia, Karen, you're in Australia. You're on the other side of the world, huh? Awesome. Okay, let me put some salt and pepper in here. Put some black pepper in here. Okay. See how thick it's getting? You definitely want it thick when it goes in the biscuit. If you want a thicker gravy, I do. That's what you want. Turn this down. The taste, make sure it has enough seasoning. Alabama, Grand Bay, Alabama. That sounds like a small town, Terry. I never heard of that town. I know it's not a city. It's got to be a town. Grand Bay, Alabama. That sounds like a small town. Yeah, bacon gravy is not really a thing. Sometimes you got to use what you got to use. And bacon and gravy is awesome. Bacon and anything is awesome. You can eat, put bacon on a shoe and eat it, that's good. Okay. That looks like what I want right there. And I'm gonna keep the, the half and half around just in case I have to thin it out, thin it out in just a second after the biscuits get ready. Looks like taking the biscuits, let me check on them. This is looking good. This has got about six more minutes while the biscuits is uh, cooking. I'm gonna chat with y'all. I'm gonna put the bacon gravy in the back. I'm gonna put this skillet on very low so when I'm ready to do my eating, the skillet be hot already. It won't take as long. Okay, what question? Good morning, Sarah. How you doing, Miss Finster? Thank you, Alicia. What time does the calc option start? I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, y'all can make biscuits and gravy every day. It's very simple. You don't see how long it took me to make this meal. I haven't been online maybe, what, 10, 15 minutes. And the rest was almost ready. All I'm waiting on is the biscuits. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Kate. Uh, Sessa Food, Mississippi. The recipe, Sheila, the recipe for my biscuits are already on. I posted it many, many times before. I also did video. Just, just search old school biscuits. It'll come up. I don't have a restaurant, Chef Ye. I don't have a restaurant. I'm just, I just do this for fun right here. I just like sharing my videos and recipes with others. That's all I do. Old Sheila, Louisiana. I know where that is. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, Veronica. South Carolina, all right. Gamecocks. Good morning, Christy, Kentucky. Judy, you must be late to the game to my website. They, 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 did anybody tell Judy who taught me how to cook? 
Anybody been following me for a while, tell Julie, who, I'm sorry, what is it, Julie, yeah, Julie, tell her who taught me how to cook. She must be new to the website. You are welcome to the family. Good morning, Kathy. Duck Hills, Missouri, Oklahoma, early Alabama, all right, awesome. Bakersfield, California, we finally got some West Coast people in the house. It's early over in the West Coast. It's 647 over there in the West Coast right now, isn't it? When the Georgia, Spartan, North South Carolina, all right. Spartanburg, South Carolina. Got a lot of South Carolina here. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, she got it. You get the K, you get the you get the first biscuit today. She answered the question for her. She didn't hear what my mom really enjoyed. Thank you, Angela. Hello, hello, Miss Linda from Louisiana, Indiana. Jacqueline, how you doing? Arkansas, H-Town in the house. All right, represent H-Town, Florida. Antonio, Canada, that's awesome. Antonio, Canada, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, Memphis, Tennessee, that's one of my favorite cities. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee, y'all. Spray it, you know I don't have to. Okay. By the way, check in the okay, report. Thank you, Larry. I, I can't. Avis, I'm sorry. A call of Florida. Thank you. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the Facebook All School Soul Food Family. Good morning, members. Mills, Mills River, North Carolina. Wow. Orlando, Florida. Texas in the house. That's what I'm talking about. Texas. Greatest state in the in the union, Arkansas, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Brenda, for Mrs. Melinda Lexington, Mississippi. All right. Good morning. It's my job to keep myself and my Like I said, I, I, I thought I'd sneak up on y'all. I guess I could this morning. I say, well, I'm gonna do breakfast this morning live, and I maybe I'll have 15 or 20 people. I got over 300, so I guess y'all was interested in this, which is awesome. This is almost ready, about about five more minutes there. I think I'm gonna get some butter here. I'm gonna melt it to go on top of the brush on top of the biscuits to come out. Okay. Mackenzie went to church in Milam. All right. Oh, y'all already flying each other. Some people talking to me. I'm going to melt some butter right quick. I'm going to melt a little butter and brush on the bitches when they come out. White gravy over anything is good. Sausage gravy and uh, bacon gravy. Good on anything, even a shoe. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> I love what I do. I love sharing my knowledge. I just love cooking. When I'm in the kitchen, ain't no, there's no problems in the world when I'm cooking. I'm all in my own zone. That's just the way I am. <laughs> It didn't get lumpy. What I did, uh, Martin, what I did for the gravy not to get lumpy, I add the flour into the onions and bacon. And uh, and I slowly added the milk to little by little, and that stopped it from getting lumpy. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more half and half, because it will get thick onions and set up. And I, don't want to, I don't want to get too... Australia. Wow, you don't see old school soul food in Australia, huh? Uh, Kane. Hey, uh, 
Tracy, I'm going to leave this video up, y'all, where you can go back and watch it from the beginning. And it's always hilarious when I leave them up. And like three hours later, people log in and see the live video, and they talking like I'm there, and they don't know that was three hours ago. It's always kind of hilarious to see that. But I'm going to leave this video up, and I'll put it on uh, YouTube also. So, so y'all can, if you miss something, you can watch it again. Hello, Olivia. See. Yeah, Jimmy Jean sausage and uh, biscuit and gravy, you can't go wrong with that. I agree, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, the biscuit's almost ready, y'all. Yeah, uh, uh, Loretta, yeah, I have the most popular house in the block. Let me tell you a story. Sometimes, mostly in the summer when the kids are out of school, uh, you know, I share a lot with neighbors and stuff like that. And of course, the kids are out of school now because of the pandemic. But mostly in the summer when I drive up from work, I come from work, the kids have to see me drive up, they'll holler, Mr. Williams, what are you cooking today, Mr. Williams? Because they know if I cook a lot of stuff, I'm gonna share it uh, with my neighbors and friends and stuff like that. I love doing that. So. Yeah, that's a big thing around here. And that's good. Everybody watch your back. When they know the guy over here cooking up for you, they're going to make sure nothing happens to me. So that's the advantage, too. They're going to make sure I'm real protected around here and anywhere I go. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, uh, Stephanie, I do this every periodically. It's kind of popular. Like, nobody knew I was cooking live this morning. It all depends on what I feel. And it's popular. Uh, the people rather let me watch me cook than sit there and talk. So, yeah, I do this every once in a while. Uh, uh, Stephanie. Yes, a lot of people understand cooking is a therapy. Yeah, cooking is a therapy. It just gets you out and get in the kitchen or whatever and do what you do. That's what I do. You be watching from Boston. All right, Boston, Massachusetts. All right, welcome, uh, Juanita. Okay, two more minutes. And eat this is you ready? Let me clear this spot out here. I don't need to brush it with butter when it first come out. Be, we'll have that done. Anything new to some? I don't know. Uh, basically, I have a lot. Of, I know one thing I'm going to post this summer is one of the most popular recipes I have is homemade ice cream in the churn. Even though I don't churn it anymore, I use electric freezer, but the whole concept is, the, is everything is homemade. The same, I just don't sit there and churn it. It's electric. But that's coming this summer. I'm going to do a live video of that. This is awesome people that do that anymore still. All right, California. All right. Yeah, make this a day for your kids. Get them up and just cook in the kitchen. It's very easy. Do you have chickens or garden? I do in the country. I don't have chicken in garden here. I wish I did. But I grew up with chickens in the backyard and, uh, and a big old garden. Two acre garden, matter of fact. Now in Texas, my favorite city in the house. Okay, y'all. All right. One more minute. One more minute. We're going to take it out. I'm going to brush it with butter here. And then I'm going to start on my eggs. I'm going to do my eggs. Got to make Jamaican patties. Feeling, oh, Jamaican patties. That's a new one on me. I've had those. I don't know how to make them. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Chicago in the house, Chi-Town, all right, awesome. I was in Chicago last last fall, awesome, beautiful city. Best pizza ever tasted, hot dogs too. West Columbia, Texas, all right. The recipe is already posted on uh, previously. All you gotta do is anything I do live most of the time is uh, you just go to my, uh, just go to Facebook and uh, just search Old School Biscuits. 
But you put you must put old school in front of it. That's why I put old school in before any everything that I post. Once I've done thinning the gravy down, like I said, if it sits up, it gets uh it will get thick. Okay, now we're gonna take these biscuits out. Thick revealing. Alright, there we go. Now we're gonna brush them with butter. Like brush it with melted butter there. Give it some Give it some uh, extra shine in there. Can't go wrong with butter, huh? Yeah. See how easy that was? That took 20 minutes, y'all. 20 minutes, see? I'll make this in 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to set them to the side. Now I'm going to do my eggs. I'm going to get my eggs ready. Then I'm going to break this thing up. I'm going to get the biscuit put on the platter. Y'all sit tight. Y'all sit tight. Okay, y'all, I'm back here. To give y'all a better image how the biscuits look, so I'll just put them here and just pile them in on the, on the plate. On my platter here. They didn't take long at all, y'all. See how easy it was? We got to some hot fluffy. They're so fluffy. See that? Some questions and I'll answer them. 
Oh, you need to you need to see the plate. There we go. See it? Can you see it? There we go. All right. I guess you could see my plate. Let me do the biscuit. Need the biscuit here. Took no time at all. Get the so fluffy. Okay, y'all asking questions while I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, but see, we got to pass y'all the biscuit. <laughs> oh, they ain't gonna get musty. <laughs> Breathing. These bitches, the way I got them sitting on the tray, that's why I, I singled them where the air can go up underneath them. So they're not going to get mushy. That's how you play them. You don't pile them on top. I did them single. I believe I've done it too many times before. Okay. Cornbread is easy. Uh, chef, just Google, just search old school cornbread. It'll come up. Oh, Karen, you 12 30 in the morning over there in Australia. I forgot y'all on the other side of the world. I think it's Wednesday, it's Monday over there. The biscuits <laughs> recipe deal is on this slurp old school soul food. Uh, old school biscuits, I'm sorry. Bronson, Mrs. Missouri. Welcome, Brandy. Nice fluffy eggs. I hate eggs. This people, that's, you know what? Something I realized three years ago. People don't know how to cook eggs. When I go to the restaurant, I'm very disappointed. People always overcook the eggs. It don't take long to cook eggs at all. Now, Cynthia, if you follow by my recipe and my procedure, you can do the same thing. It's nothing difficult in what I'm cooking. It's just the way you do it. And, you, and I try to show people the, the, the easy way and the simple way to do it. Thank you, Dar. You're welcome, uh, Margaret. Yep. Now, I hope everybody has been inspired to get up and go cook breakfast for your family, your friends, or whatever. And you see how easy it is. I live in Katy, Texas. Home of champions. Funny, Martin. Let's see what he say. You're a fancy chef with the melted butter. We we were in a hair and mom just grabbed the stick and colored the top like it was a crayon. Oh, oh, hey, that'll work too, Martin. That'll work. You don't have to even have to uh, uh, melt the butter. Hey, <laughs> I had to learn how to learn. <laughs> Yeah, I think eggs should be light and fluffy. I really do. I don't like them cooked hard. <laughs> I need them close because of the news. Oh, you hear the news in the background? <laughs> Sound affecting <laughs> Houston. Thanks for sharing. Las Vegas, all right. My One of my favorite cities. Yes, ma yes sir. Are you in Katy too, J Judy? Stop by and I'll give you some grumble eggs and biscuits and gravy. You and Katie come by. <laughs> we right in the neighborhood. Dr. McLean also warns against going too hard for the gym. Seems silly. Get your rest. Stay hydrated. Yeah, uh, Michelle, my recipe for the biscuits on YouTube. Yes, yes, ma'am. YouTube. 
Just go to YouTube and type old school soul food. Very simple. That's it. That's it. Just type old school soul food. It'll come up. You'll see my big head right there on the picture. I just made the gravy. I'm going to leave this stream up so you can go back and look at the beginning. Just, and I, it'll show me exactly, show you just exactly how I did. I also have a recipe for it. But I use sausage in the recipe. But this, this morning I used bacon. But I didn't have sausage. But bacon worked just as good. But right now I'm just loving this taste of this bacon and eggs. But why didn't need no meat? You see it in the house. All right. Hmm. Yeah, that's the cook at home, Chef. I'm getting exactly. How could you? Could you tell how you make it, baby? Okay, Nancy. I'm gonna tell you why we did. I told y'all to ask questions. All I did, Nancy, I took my bacon and I took top bacon. I rendered it down, got a little crispy. I added onions, diced onions to that. Let it get a little translucent salt. Then I added about a tablespoon of flour. Cook that down about a minute. Then I added to half and half. Little by little. You don't want to over add to half and half. You don't want to get too too thick, too thin, I mean. And then you got to try to thicken it up. You add a little milk at a time, and you add more and more as you get to the consistency of thickness as you want. You don't want to add too much milk at a time. It's very important. It's easier to thin it out than to thicken it back up. So they remember that when you're making gravy. I've been trying to learn how to cook and unlock. I will be sending him over. Thank you, uh, Michelle. <laughs> a lot of restaurants don't use real. Yeah, a lot of restaurants don't use eggs, real eggs. They use powdered eggs or stuff like that, a frozen egg, pasteurized eggs. Thank you, uh, Darla. Thank you, thank you. Y'all keep the questions coming. I got a whole plate of food here I need to finish eating. But they can't go wrong with biscuits and gravy, y'all. No, not yet. I got a, a friend of mine that I work with. He's actually going to create me a seasoning. And I'm going to start putting him on there. Because he makes a whole variety of seasoning. I'm trying to get him to create one just for me. Um, my recipe probably says roux. Roux is half flour, half butter. 50%, 50%. But use a teaspoon of butter, melted butter, use a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of butter, use a tablespoon of flour, and melted butter, and mix it together, that's the roux. This morning, I didn't use a roux. I did it the more old school method, and I try not to teach people that. I found doing the roux method, which is more easier and simpler than doing the way I do it, because when people do the way I do it, they'll either burn the flour, or they'll put the milk in there and it be too thick, and they too thin, and then try to thicken it up. This way you can control it. That's why I do the recipe like that. Yeah, Central, I like cheese in my eggs sometimes. I really do. I'm sure something else I like with the eggs. I'll be right back. Cooking, 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's definitely old school ideas today, but I try to make it a little bit more simpler. People have never made gravy before. We try to make it as simple as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
so y'all can go watch from the beginning and uh, maybe you can learn something there. Like I said, it's very easy to make bits and great. You can do it every morning for your for your family. But anyway, thank y'all. Be blessed. And like I always say, have a blessed old school soul food day. And follow my other social media accounts too. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I got my own website, oldschoolsoulfood.com. I have recipes on there you can print out. I'm still putting them weekly, more printable recipes where you can print out. So go follow those too, other than the Facebook. So anyway, like I say, have a blessed old school soul food day. Thank y'all for watching.